Hey Design Style, welcome to Encoder Fashion. I'm Rose and in this video, I will demonstrate how to bring seamless repeat digital knit fabrics into closed and then apply that onto your design. And not only that, I will also show you how to clean it up in Adobe Photoshop quick and easily and then bring it into close. In addition, not only you will learn how to apply this texture onto your 3D garment, but you will also receive five free seamless digital knit texture for your 3D garment. Are you ready? Let's get started. I'm here in Clo to bring the knit texture into close 3D. First, I want to show you how to clean it up a little bit with Photoshop. To do so, first, I'm going to open Photoshop here. And before I'm going to do that though, I want to unzip the folder, okay? First of all, I will go to Finder. And here, this is the 5 mesh Knit Fabric folder. So if you guys first download this fabric, you will have the zip folder. Be sure to unzip the folder, simply double click on it to unzip. And now here, 5 mesh Knit Fabric is unzipped. I will minimize that. And now go to Photoshop. And I'm going to click on Open here. And navigate to that folder, which is Downloads. And here, 5 mesh knit fabric. I'm going to double click on it to open and I will select one of these. So the one that dot PSC file, I'm going to select this one right here. So the blue color, click on it and then come down here, click on open. So by default, if I look at over here under this layer tab, I will see one group folder and one background layer. Simply click on that eyes ball right there to turn it on and then click on this arrow here to expand this group layer and then we want to click on the layer one down here because this is the shadow layer we want to hide the shadow as well as the background now all we have is this perfect seamless repeat knit texture as you can see right here it's clean and it's repeated next i'm going to export this as the dot png simply go to file and then come to export and then quick export as png or export as and then come over here Click on this arrow here and then select PNG and after that leave everything as is and I'm going to come down here and click on export. Then I'm going to name this, let's say this is Rose and then I'm going to navigate to my folder. Okay, so in this case, go back to that download folder and then simply click on that mesh folder right there and then click on save and then click on save again. After that, I'm going to minimize this for now. Okay, now. I'm going to bring that entire folder into Clo. By the way, guys, no worry because all the fabric that I bring into Clo, I already fixed that for you. So I have Adobe Photoshop file as well as .png file. You will see in a second. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to bring that entire folder into Clo. To do that, come over here to the library tab and click on the plus sign here and then go to that folder, which is five mesh niche fabric. Click on that folder and come down here, click on open. So it looks like nothing really happened. However, though, if I slide this slide bar down, you will see this mesh fabric. Simply double click on that. And as you can see right here, these are the fabric. So what I'm saying here in this folder come with fabrics that have .png and .psd. Simply use this .png to apply onto the garment and you will have the perfect seamless repeat and also transparency. So this is the fabric that I have giveaway guys you can download them and then use them for your projects okay and right here the swatches total of five fabric they come in different file format .png and .psd and right here this is the swatch card where all the color and the pantone number on to the swatch card all right so next i'm going to simply click one of these so this is the one that i saved earlier i'm going to click that and drag on top of the garment okay after that by default, I have texture box a check and then click on OK to confirm. Okay, now I'm going to click one on a page here to this link. So as you can see right here, guy, super high quality and seamless repeat. It's amazing. All right, so next, I'm going to show you how to scale this pattern. Let's say this pattern right now is perfect, but sometimes when we bring the texture into close, sometimes the pattern goes too big or too small. We want to scale that. To do so, I will use this either the edit texture tool in 3D toolbar or 2D toolbar. In this case, I will use the one in 3D toolbar. Simply click on it to select, then click on the fabric, and then I'm going to come over here to the gizmo tool, click and then drag to the right to increase, 
and then drag it to the list to decrease the pattern. As you can see right here, you can adjust to the side that you want. And the fabric is now perfect as you want it. After that, how can we save this texture for the future? So we have two options here. We can either save this as a project file, which I'm going to show you how to do that. Simply go to File, and then select Save As, and then Projects. Then I'm going to name this Rose Blue Knit, and then navigate to the folder, which is in this case, I'm going to save it in that same folder right there. Just find Mesh Knit Fabric, and then come down here, click on Save, and then click on Save again. Okay, that's the first option. Next, I'm going to show you the second option. So to save that for the second option, we'll come over here to this object browser, click on that knit texture there, and then come down here. We want to click on this. So under property editor, click on the save icon right here. And by default, I have this add custom image box check. I'm going to select the texture image only box and then click on OK. And after that, once again, navigate to my folder. I'm going to name this blue and then dash, and then navigate to the folder right here. So download and then file mesh knit fabric and then click on save and then click on save again. So after we save the fabric, now the fabric right here in the same folder and update it. So if I look at over here, we see the blue knit fleece terry dot zfab because that is the fabric format in Close 3D. So how can we bring that fabric back? We have two ways to do that. Simply click and drag that fabric onto the design or you can come over here and then click on that texture and then come over here to this property editor and click on this open folder and then navigate to that blue knit fabric and then click on open and there it is. Okay, there you have a design new store. I hope you guys found this video helpful and remember to give it a thumbs up and follow me on Encoded Fashion for more awesome videos like this. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye! See you next video!